Next question is from More Life Jojo. Does the intensity of the squeeze or clenching of a muscle matter? Big yeah, time. Definitely. Big time. Your intrinsic uh, application of intensity, right? So how hard you squeeze the muscle increases the intensity just like adding weight uh, to the bar would. Makes a big difference. Isometrics are depending on your intensity of contraction. Uh, if I flex a muscle... I can flex it, you know, have good control, or I can really flex it hard. And the harder I flex it, the more, the louder the signal, the more potential damage, all that stuff. So this makes a huge difference. One way you can apply this to your training, well, there's two ways. One is to do isometric training in your workout, or two is focus on the squeeze at the top of a movement and really squeeze the muscle hard. But I will warn you, you're going to have to go lighter to do this, you fatigue real fast when you do this. It's not as easy as it sounds. It definitely makes it a lot harder. Well, wouldn't it, wouldn't a simpler way to kind of explain this be like if I were to clench my fist very lightly, right? So I just, I'm squeezing my arm right now. My brain is firing neurons to my hand right now to to in order to do that. And let's just say for this example, a hundred of them are being fired right. in order to do that. And then just by me simply clenching down as hard as I can, I now recruit even more from my brain to there in order yeah, to do and more muscle fibers. Right. So the, and I, and I'm also training that connection, a stronger, more, uh, more neuro neurological connection to, to my fist. And if that is training, like I loved your analogy that you used to give on the podcast all the time, which is comparing it to like an amp, right? So your, your, your central nervous system is like an amplifier to the speakers, your speaker, the muscles are the speakers. And so you training that amplifier, you're getting a, a, a higher wattage, a stronger amplifier, mm -hmm. the better, the better and stronger it can get, the better that you can recruit muscle and the l l more likely you are to lift more weight. And that goes back to the last question with like gymnasts. Part of the reason why they're so good is they have great uh, CNS control. I mean, they have, to, they have all that body weight training has connected them to their body so well. So they have incredible amplifiers. Maybe they didn't have big muscles yet, because they haven't lifted hundreds and huge squat or deadlifting days, but they've trained their body so well. They're so well connected. They have an incredible amplifier. All they need is to plug in some speakers and they're going to get tremendous benefits from it. Yeah. And for some reason, you know, that concept is hard sometimes to, for people to grasp right away of, of like, you can squeeze harder. Uh, just think of it as like, if I'm going to grab an object that's lighter versus heavier and, and what that all entails, like if I'm going to pick it up uh, and just use the same amount of control traction to pick it up as I would, you know, the heavier object, you're gonna have to squeeze harder, you have to try harder, you have to recruit, you know, all the way up your arm into your hips and stabilize with your legs, like a heavy object, you know, requires more force production. So you have to be able to generate, you know, more muscle fibers, you have to recruit more, uh, you know, to be able to pull that off. So you're just sort of simulating that, um, you know, on your own. So it, it, you just have to get in that mindset, like I need to squeeze and I need to really, you know, bear down. And, uh, you, and that's going to then transfer to when you do have heavier loads and things to, you know, account for.